Hey, how y'all doing? You know, if you've gotten anywhere close to the amount of rain that I got, there's not too much we can do out in the garden. It's just too wet. So I thought I'd catch up on a little project that I had been putting off for quite a while. Something I really need, which is a three-point trailer hitch for my tractor. Uh, I've got, or my son has, a couple of trailers over here that I sometimes need to move. And uh, I just don't have the vehicle to move them around with. But that tractor will handle them. Okay, here's what I got in mind doing. This is my uh, quick hitch that fits on the back of the tractor. This is a regular bar that you can buy at uh, any tractor supply for a category one hitch. Now I could just mount a ball right here in the center, but as you can see this thing rolls around and that's not going to work too well when you hook a trailer to it. So I would have to make a brace actually two coming from the sides where it'll hook up to the top of the quick hitch to keep it from rocking and rolling. Well, a ball would work, but I figured something that I think will work even better, and that is to mount a receiver on this bar, a receiver just like what's on a vehicle, and that's a three inch piece of square tubing. I've got a hole drilled on the side for the pin to go in when you insert the male part of the receiver, which has the ball on it. The reason I'm going, the reason I'm using or going with this receiver idea is I can not only use that ball, but I can use anything that has a two inch piece of square tubing attached to it and it'll slip right in, I'll lock it in place and go with it. They make some uh, carry-alls, uh, you could even make a frame for your push planter and attach it to the tractor using this type of setup. Now I'll still have to put a, some braces to the top and I'm thinking of just doing it like this, putting one on each side to hold this thing and keep it from, uh, from rocking. In order to attach all this, uh, I'm going to need to do some welding. And believe me, a welder I am not. I can uh, kind of glob a little bit of metal on the side and just uh, hope it sticks. Before I do any welding though, I want to clean off this metal, get all this rust off of this piece and get the paint off of that bar. Well, I got the first part of the project clamped and pretty much re ready to start tacking. Okay, I'll show you this one well because uh, natural is the best one. The rest of them ain't too pretty. Look like a bunch of bubble gum stuck on there. Alright, now to set it in place on the bar. That looks pretty good. Put a clip on the other end of the pin to hold it in place. And we got a trailer hitch. 
You know, this is originally, well, it was originally designed a different way. At first, I was going to extend the receiver out uh, about a foot, maybe a little further. So when I'd put the ball in, I could see it better from the tractor seat. But I, I kept thinking that there's got to be a better way. Because had I extended it out, I'd have had to have put a brace from the top of the receiver out here to the top of the hitch up here. That was reason number one. The second reason I didn't do it that way is because on a, a, a three-point hitch is, is rated for lifting so many pounds. The further out you go, the less weight you can lift. In fact, you can put so much, you can overload it so much that uh, the front end kind of gets light. In fact, it'll even come off the ground. So I figured by putting it like this, close to the hitch, I'll get my maximum lift when it comes to weight, and there's no need for a brace. These pieces, these uprights, act as the brace. Well, in order to hide some of these ugly wells and to keep it from rusting, I guess I need to put a little paint on it. Remember I told you I wasn't much of a welder? <laughs> Obviously, I'm not much of a painter either. I usually end up putting too much the first coat. You know, if I'm not careful though, this is going to look like a professional job. Ready to see if this thing fits? Let's give it a try. Like a glove. Lock the pins in place. And we're just about ready to go. Let's install the ball. Oh yeah. All right, here's how it works. You back up to your trailer, when you get the ball underneath the tongue, you lift up, and you drive off. Well, now I can air up those low tires I got. Those couple of hours that I spent on that project is going to make life so much easier next time I have one of those trailers to move. Building it as a receiver, that opens the door to all kinds of stuff or attachments that I can buy or build for the tractor. Hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed it. And lâche pas.